Hey guys, Minzy Bell here. As you can see, I'm in the Stanley Parable demonstration. I'm doing the demo. I'm going to do the um the full game. I I um I'm getting it like right as soon as I finish playing this. So I I was actually just going to jump into the game, but then I heard I play this first since you know it was there, it was in my face, so it's just like play me. So. Let's go ahead and begin the demo. Alright. Come on. There we go. Okay. Stanley Powerful demonstration. Oh! <laughs> I didn't realize we were actually doing that. Okay. Okay, this way. Hmm. Alright, well I guess let's go. Twenty. Welcome to the Stanley Parable Demonstration. Your number is 28. When your number is displayed, please enter the demonstration room. Thank you, and have a pleasant demonstration. Okay. Do not stand on this side of the fence. Oh, I'm sorry. Can't get on the other side. <laughs> Whoops. Waiting room. Please wait for your number to for your number, and then enter. Thank you. Wait, hold on. Enter the room. Or <laughs> this game is so messed up. Okay, first I'm just I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to and then I'm gonna go through next time and like do everything I'm not supposed to to see if it um makes a difference. So I I understand it's a demo but still <laughs> the Stanley Parable demo. But still it's the whole fact of the way this game is. Can you actually jump in this game? I don't know. Hey, let me in. Let me in. Oh, so close. So close. Uh, I figured it was like gonna stop or just like stop halfway and just not do anything. Oh, cool. Huh. Famous demos. Oh. Hmm. Oh god, this bright. That hurts my eyes. Okay, let's go up here. Oh. oh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Stanley Parable live demonstration. Hi. It will be my pleasure to guide you through this sneak peek at what to expect in the Stanley Parable. A tease, just enough to leave you hungry for more. How exciting. Can't you just feel that nervous tension? The looming uncertainty? Why don't we drink in the anticipation for a moment, just for 20 minutes or so? Okay. Please, for just 20 minutes, don't move or act in any way. Simply remain motionless and let the thrill of demoing the Stanley Parable wash over you. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're going to stay here for 20 minutes. Why not? <laughs> Please remain motionless. <laughs> I really want to move. <laughs> Do I literally have to, like, sit here for 20 minutes? Oh, wait, I've got it. You know what would really ramp up the anticipation? What? If I gave you a little tour of the facility and show you how we make video game demonstrations. Yes, you'll be simply oh. out of your mind with anxiety. Come along this way. Should I trust you? Hmm. This is where I and the other proctors have been working meticulously to construct a demo that explains clearly and concisely exactly what the Stanley Parable is, how it plays, and why you should spend real-world money on the main game. Video game demonstrations are tricky, and without the proper technology, you run the risk of the player having no idea what to expect in the full version. I already plan on spending real-world money to get this game. How the fuck are you supposed to get up to that one? Hmm. Okay. Interesting so far. Oh my god, the buttons! Ah, here is one such technology. 
These buttons are meant to convey the meaning of choice and the impact of the decisions you make. After all, choices carry tremendous meaning and consequence. Didn't you know that? Go ahead. Why don't you try picking one of these buttons to press and we'll see what your choice says about you. The buttons. Oh, the buttons. Oh. I don't know which button to push. How fascinating. Did you know that 94% of all people who select that particular button are sexual predators? You see, uh. our choices really do illuminate the very intangible nature of our minds and souls. Pervert. Oh no, he knows my secret. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. You, you guys just pretend you didn't okay. hear that. What else can I show you then? This place is the buffalo of game design. Nothing is wasted. Okay. Or really, you... You, you guys didn't hear that. Shh, I'm not really a pervert. Maybe. No, I think you'll find this exciting. We've actually developed a wall that you can walk through. Go ahead, give it a shot. <laughs> I'm gonna get taller. Oh, hmm, guess it's still in development. Right, okay, moving Back along. Back up and do it. You must do it. Push your body up against it. You'll you'll eventually get through it. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay. How's the anticipation? Still feeling Maybe. it? Mm. It's down here. Can I go down here? Isolate. Oh Lord. Let's go. No. <laughs> Alrighty. Compliments. Oh fuck. One of the most important parts of administering any demonstration is pumping up your ego and appealing to insecurities about your sense of self-worth. That's why we use this room to develop cheap compliments to shower on the player during the demo. Go ahead and press that button to see some of the superficial flattery we've been cooking up. Kinda worried. Uh... My heavens, I've never met someone who can consume as much uranium in a single sitting as you can. Just look at you go. Awesome. <laughs> I don't want to step on that. I'm scared something will happen. Of all the people I know who are playing this exact demo at this exact moment and standing in this exact room, your performance is easily in the top 5,000. Top 4,700 even. I won't go as far as 4,600. Yes. I'm so happy now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stand on this. Please nothing come and kill me. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is embarrassing. I really can't think of anything else to say. Uh, no, no. You've really exhausted my list of compliments. Goodness, that was fast. Either you or this department has a lot of room for improvement. Mm. Okay then. What's next? No, I'm gonna push a button some more. I'm gonna push a button. That's so not nice. So I'm gonna push a button still. All right. Um. No status. <laughs> Is that like a big speaker? <laughs> this device tells you whether or not you're inside a video a game light. demonstration. Somewhere around here, there's also a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Get me out of here! <laughs> oh my god. Something tells me that lies. So something will kill me. I can't even get out the room. Alright, can I actually do something? Are you that eager for the demo to start? Don't worry, we're almost there. No. <sighs> okay. First that traps me, then that traps me. Good lord. Alright, so... Did that one, did that one. So it's this... No, I did the wall. It's that one. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? I don't know if I um if I'm okay with this. <laughs> okay. Now here's what we use to convey story. 
These booths convert text from a story into raw emotion. Go ahead, step into one of them and feel the sheer power of narrative exposition. Ooh. I'm going this one. Uh-oh. Oh god! That was so freaking loud! No! Come back. Do it again. It was just so loud. Get down. <laughs> No, no, no! I didn't, I didn't mean to move. Okay, that was freaking awesome. That scared me though at the beginning because it's like it was so freaking loud. I didn't even think there'd be anything back there. I just now, now we have to save at least a few emotions for the full game. Yeah, day. I didn't even think something would be back there. I thought it was just gonna be more just these empty things. I just saw that. I knew I could crouch. Oh, I'm gonna go back there again. What? That was awesome, though. Just scared the crap out of me, though, because of how it was. It was, it was no, and within the shame he carried, that ocean breeze did drift. The fierceness of the tides, the inevitable collapse of their kingdoms, washed ashore, bereft of shame, martyrs devoid of a cause, ripping and tearing at the eternal seams. A vessel without a captain, carrying itself like plastic in the wind. Hinting at a purpose that was truer in some purpose. distant memory, <laughs> if only it could decipher through time's veneer whose memory it wanted to be. That was interesting. Where did these cliffs go? These crags that we stood upon, they shielded us from our own ignorance. Spoke coddling words and wrapped our vulnerabilities in Looking a wooden cloth that so many times I tried to set aflame. <laughs> if I knew these comforts oh, no. now, would their fibers be any more sensitive to the heat of my touch? Perhaps it was the cold I desired most of all. That empress to whom my flesh was always invisible. A hammock for the bones waiting to be touched and to be known. <laughs> Huh. I'll go back to that one again. And go dance some more. Don't look. No! Move forward. We're gonna go back here and dance again. Just real quick. Just, I'm having so much fun with this one. Dance! There we go. We're good. <laughs> we danced enough. Whoa. Alright. So we danced enough. We can go in, I guess. Oh, you went in both booths? Oh, how vulnerable of you. If at any point during the demo you need to cry, just let me know and we can take a minute. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Ah, but that was nice. Okay, so we've done. We haven't done that one. That was out of order. I can see why there's nothing to do right up there. So, we did that one. We did that. Okay, so we did them all. So now we can do final choice. I guess. Okay. Ah, now this room is perhaps the most important you'll encounter in the demo. This is where we determine whether or not the demo has been effective. Whether it's conveyed the wit and soul of the Stanley Parable in such a compelling way that you reach immediately for your credit card to purchase the main game. 
Oh, I must say, I'm so excited to hear your response. I really do think we've crafted something special here, and I look forward to hearing whether or not you agree. No! What are you doing? You can't make that decision yet. You haven't played the demo. We've put so much work into this demonstration. Wouldn't it be a shame if you rushed right into making a purchasing decision without savoring it first? Let this one simmer. You'll have plenty of time to decide later. Didn't he just tell me to go decide or something? Or did I hear him wrong? I'm so confused. Besides, I was already planning on purchasing this game already before I even played it now. Yeah. I'm gonna go back and dance if you. Ugh. I swear, didn't he just tell me to go make. Whatever. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about how video game demos are made. Oh. So. Just, hey, everything moved. However, it's still important that we address safety concerns. Please closely observe the following possible negative side effects of playing the Stanley Parable. If you agree to be held 100% responsible for any and all injury or long-term damage, mental, physical, or otherwise, that may occur while playing the demo, please do not press the large red glowing disagree button at this time. Nothing? No objections? No You're quite sure about that? Oh, well, all right then. In the event that you do experience one or all of the previously listed symptoms, let's establish a signal for you to convey to me that you wish the demonstration to be terminated. Please step into the dance perimeter. <laughs> I need to dance some more! Please perform a dance. <laughs> That's my signal! <laughs> Your dance no! I want to dance recorded. some more! In the event that you feel confused or disoriented by anything you see inside the demo, perform that dance and I will terminate the demo okay. immediately. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All preparations have been made. It is time at last. Are you prepared for I don't know. the Stanley Parable? The fuck? I I'm in a loop. Oh wait, what? What are we doing Welcome here? Welcome to Did the Stanley not... Parable demonstration. Your number is 29. When your number is displayed, please enter the demonstration room. Thank you, and have a pleasant demonstration. Okay, uh, I'm lost. Let's just get back to the green room and start the demo again. I must have done something wrong the first time. You told me to wait till 29. So I'm not gonna wait. I'll go check everything out. I'm gonna pick this up though. I'm, I'm thirsty. I want some coffee. Okay, you know that no one is checking numbers, right? You can just go. You could do it right <gasps> now, literally right this second. I don't know how no one ever figures this it's out. It's ducks! We could be back at the demo by this time. Are you. Are you enjoying this? Watching numbers tick down slowly. Well, please, don't let me stop you. If somehow you're associating the joy of this room with the joy of playing the Stanley Parable, then by, by all means, continue. The full version of the Stanley Parable contains all the ecstasy you are now experiencing and so, so, so much this more. This is my chair. My chair. I sit in front of it and guard it. And this is my coffee cup. <laughs> it spilled over. Um, she said, wait. Um, be a good little girl and wait. I don't look out the window. Oh, Lord. See, we're almost there. Look at that. Zip. What do I say? See? One more. And we can run. We can run through. We can run through. See? Watch, 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 watch. And... We can move on now. <laughs> did they stay the same? Yeah, they did. Hi. Okay, here we go. The Stanley Parable demo take two. Finding the demo, learning exactly what the Stanley Parable is. Here it comes. Okay, it looks different now. The Stanley Parable, what the fuck? Oh, wait, what's this? Eight. Hell yeah! Eight. 
wait, 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 wait. Eight. It's, this is all wrong. This isn't the Stanley Parable. Eight. This is a game where you press a button and it says eight. Not only is the Stanley Parable not a game about continuously pressing the number eight, I can guarantee that this button eight. does not appear anywhere in the main game. Why is it eight. here instead of the demo for the Stanley Parable? Eight. Where did the demo go? There was eight. an actual demo here before. Something eight. has gone wrong. It's all gone eight. horribly wrong. We need to get you out of here before eight. you start forming impressions of the Stanley eight. Parable based on whatever the hell this eight game is. We need to get out. We need to start eight. over. You mustn't stay here another eight. minute. Out, out, eight. out. Go, go, go. I've already formed an impression. Too late. Eight. <laughs> eight. eight. Now, I think perhaps you've misunderstood eight. me. <laughs> so let me reiterate as clearly eight. as I can. This eight. is not the Stanley Parable. Eight. What you are doing is pushing a button over and over that does nothing but speak the word eight. Has that gotten through? You may be continuing to press this button under the impression you're playing the Stanley Parable right now. An assumption that is, I should remind you again, entirely erroneous. Eight. <laughs> mm. Eight. I'm enjoying this now. Eight. I'm having fun. How about you guys? Eight. Doesn't even make sense. Eight. Why would I have gone to all of this elaborate setup just to demonstrate a game that doesn't do a single thing except repeat the word eight? The waiting room, the green room, the tour of the facility, all of that for no reason other eight. than to contextualize and build up this particular game. Eight. Why? What about this eight. game deserves any of that time eight. and attention? Are you seeing something eight. in it that I'm not? Yes. Come out here and play with me. Eight. You'll have Eight. fun! I promise! Eight. Eight. Okay, here's Eight. the deal. It isn't Eight. possible that you still think this is the Stanley Parable. Eight. I've restated Eight. the fact too many times. Which means that you Eight. are now consciously choosing to Eight. delay the actual demo as long Eight. as possible. Is that it? Eight. Are you afraid of the Stanley Parable? I suppose another possibility is that you can't hear me because you're playing with the sound off. In eight. which case, what are you even getting out of this egg eight. game in the first place? This scenario eight. is perhaps even more eight. concerning. <laughs> eight. This is eight. fun. <laughs> eight. Anything else you're going to tell me? You're going to yell at me some more? Eight. You really are finding this amusing, eight. aren't you? The experience of pushing a button and it says eight. eight. Is this intrinsically eight. captivating eight. to you on its own as a legitimate experience? I mean, eight. I'm starting to wrap my head eight. around the idea, but it's not all the way there. Eight. Uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. This Eight. is coming from the person who sat in the Eight. waiting room when the door was open Eight. right there. If you're Eight. the kind of person this demo is targeting, I guess I should be a little Eight. concerned for our sales numbers. Eight. Like I said, come out here and push the button. Eight. Eight. Know how it feels to push this button. Eight. The funny thing is, you haven't even played Eight. the Stanley Parable yet. How can you be sure that this is a better game? Is this simply Eight. more compelling than you imagine the Stanley Parable to Maybe. be? Have you formed such a Eight. rich vision of the game already? What exactly Eight. did I do that gave you such a miserable, awful Eight. impression of what it's like to play the Stanley Parable? Eight. Was it the dance? Yes. It was almost certainly Eight. the dance. Hmm. I regret that now. And perform my dance! Come save me! <laughs> Eight. Eight. Is that all he's gonna say? Eight. Are we good now? Can I? Eight. Uh, well, the good part is that if this is your metric for quality in a game, Eight. when we do get to the Stanley Parable, Eight. you'll be thrilled, shocked, Eight. blown away. Eight. Every one of your faculties will be enraptured Eight. by the experience of a game that Eight. does anything more than say Eight, Eight over and over. Yes, I can't Eight. wait for your entire world to be shattered and Eight. rebuilt. A magical Eight. moment we'll Eight. all share together. Eight. So, am I good to leave now? <laughs> Eight. Eight. Oh, I'm not going to pretend I don't know what's going on here. You're so utterly compelled by this game that you don't intend to stop Eight. playing it until you pass out from physical Eight. exhaustion. Well, tell Eight. me what. I'll just be Eight. right here and wait for you to finish. I'm sure the Stanley Parable demo will still Eight. be out there somewhere when you're Eight. all done. In the meantime, Eight. I'm going to stop acknowledging you and just let you get it out of your system. Eight. Please, enjoy the eight game. Take as much eight. time as you need. Okay. Eight. 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 Am I good? Eight. Eight. I can't stop pushing the button. Eight. Eight. 
One more. Okay, another one. Uh, uh. Eight. Eight. Alright, I'm done. Eight. <laughs> I'm sorry, but did I have to leave you? <laughs> no. 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 What do you say? And start this demo over from the top. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I, I, I. <laughs> He don't let me back. <laughs> oh, the button. Hey, he's closing doors on me. Oh, good lord. It's like that pushed me back. Holy shit. I was pushing the button for a long time. <laughs> like, we're going back and back. Welcome to the yes, Stanley yes, yes. We heard it all the oh, first time. Wait. Yeah, I went downstairs before. Is where I'm supposed to go? Okay, now let's take a minute to get something straight here. When you sit down to play this demo, you are assuming an amount of responsibility for its outcome. Now, I can't say for certain whether you caused us to encounter the eight game rather than the Stanley Parable, but I think it's a pretty safe assumption that you had something to do with it. At this time, please take a minute to think about all of the mistakes you've made in playing this demonstration, as well as your lack of respect for demo taking in general. Yep. <laughs> I literally had to think about my mistakes? I didn't make any mistakes. Did I? I was having fun. You put me there. Wonderful. I could really feel the introspection on my end. Now that we're all on the same page again, I feel ready to attempt the demonstration once more. In this third attempt, we shall truly come to understand the meaning of the Stanley Parable. Let the demonstration begin. Ah! <laughs> no, really, that would have been awesome if I did that and he fell down a hole. <laughs> oh, Lord. This way, please. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Nope. Nope. I don't go down dark hallways. I don't even go down dark hallways in my own house. It makes you think I'm gonna go down that dark hallway. You lost your mind? Hmm? I don't go down dark hallway. No. I'm back up into it. Oh god, I at least it's like really dark. I Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it can't be over yet. You didn't see anything. Everything that was supposed to Ooh. demonstrate why the Stanley Parable is a quality experience worth your time and money. It was here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Oh, no, 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 no. We have to get out of here. We have to find something for you to do, anything. The demo cannot end like this. Now, ah, hurry, hurry, this way. Uh, 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 it's dark. <laughs> I'm in storage. What the fuck makes this better? Okay, yes. Buttons. This is new. Buttons. This is different. Oh my gosh, Surely buttons. there must be a game somewhere in here. Okay, okay. Oh, how about buttons. this cup? Yes, go pick up the cup. Where does... The... I guess they're not on for this part. Okay, resume the demo. Okay. All right. Now put it, um, um, in the bin. That's too much! No, you're expecting too much out of me. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'll put it right back. <laughs> I don't know if I should... Uh, 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 I can't do it. Oh my god, he's really not gonna do anything to actually do it. You did it! You won! <laughs> you know what you get for winning? An oh, achievement. really? Oh! <gasps> well, the Stanley oh Parable just keeps getting better and better. So In fact, let me take a little survey of your experience. So Based on what you've played so far, would you purchase the Stanley Parable? Yes. I don't get this game. I am. I'm. F I am on fire! You responded. What a clear and straightforward demonstration of the merits of the Stanley Parable. I am convinced of the quality of the full game. Incredible. You really do get it. You understand. Uh, oh, I was so worried. <laughs> I just wanted you to know what I see in the Stanley Parable. What I think makes it, well, special. It's so very difficult I'm to put into back. words. 
Oh, we're all beyond that now, aren't we? <laughs> Come along. Let's get to the end and the final choice. I didn't even say that. I said I was on fire. Thanks a lot, dude. Ending, ending. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there's a disagree button. I found it. <laughs> um. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Is this it? Oh. Yes, the end. Now, this is where we want the demo to be over. And I think it's time for you to log your final decision as to whether or not the Stanley Parable is any good. And it all comes to this. Please consider very carefully before answering. Much is at stake. Yes or no? I mean, yeah, I like the game, but I would love to know what you say when you hit no. I think I know what I'm going to do. First, going to hit yes, and then I'll come back to this part and hit no and see what happens. So, yes. The button's broken. Is it working? I are you sure? Are you sure you pressed the button? Ah! What? No, we, we finished the demo. Did it start again? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Is anyone there? They already finished. They said they liked it. I need someone to stop the demo. Hello? We need to go back. We need to get out of here. We're back! What the fuck? I guess I don't have to come back and hit no. <laughs> that noise scared me though. It's so freaking loud. Oh no, what's going on? Where is everyone? Okay, <gasps> over to the left. Yes. Down this uh, way. Yes. I'm going through the buttons. What the hell? Buttons. Oh. What the fuck is that though? Can't get over anywhere else though. No. Okay, fine. I that doesn't look safe. I don't think I want to go in here. Do do not cross. See, he told me not to. Says not to cross, so I can't do it. Nope. Nope. Not gonna happen. Nope. If I die, oh well, I guess. <laughs> oh, nice and Can I sit in the chair? Fine. I'm sitting in the chair. Well, I suppose we can both agree that I failed, haven't I? My job was to be fail. a teacher, and I so badly <laughs> wanted to teach you exactly what the Stanley Parable is supposed to be, but, but somehow I couldn't. I, uh, no. At any rate, I don't know if I care for the Stanley Parable anymore. Do you think any of this is actually in the main game? Honestly, I doubt it. What would that even look like? No, I think I've had enough of it. No more doors, no more demonstrations, no more endings. That's the other problem with this game, there's too many bloody endings. I'm sick of them. How can one game end so many times? It doesn't make sense. Oh, but back at the beginning of the demonstration now, oh, that was lovely. No concerns about where it was all going. No confusion. Just a blank slate. Yes, that's what I want. A game of beginnings. Hey. <laughs> Do you remember? Just a few minutes ago, when we met for the first time. No. And I showed you the technology used to make the demo, because I thought there actually was a demo. <laughs> oh, we were so naive back then. How little we knew of the world. And then, when we ended up back in the waiting room, even though you'd already done that before, yes, it's all so fresh in my memory. They were such wonderful moments. Oh, and then when we played the game with the cup and you won, and then we kept wandering and we ended up in a stairwell somewhere, and we just kept climbing nope. and climbing, flight after flight after flight. I thought they would never end. And then we were on some kind of catwalk. I didn't have any idea what was down there. Did you? <laughs> we just kept going and we found that elevator and it said escape on it. We talked about it for a while. About how we couldn't possibly know whether this was really an escape. But, Let me in it. But it seemed worth a try. 
and at the very least it would be an adventure. So we got inside and we rode the elevator up and up and up. We had some sense that the end was coming, but we couldn't possibly know when. And then after so long, it finally stopped and we stepped out into the lush outdoors. The trees, the wildlife, the sun rising on a new and glorious path. Meowed. Freedom. We were free. There was nothing to think, nothing to know. Simply us being right there in that moment. Wasn't it so beautiful? Wasn't that moment so singularly, piercingly beautiful? We were free. <laughs> We're in the game now. Oh, that was awesome. Apparently all that stuff at the end when he was talking when, you know, all that, that was the elevator and cat. That's apparently, you know, part of the actual game. And yes, it's out now. Like I said, <clears throat> sorry, stretching. Like I said, I'm getting the game right after I do this, the demo. So <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that was the demo. That's pretty awesome demo. So, for now, um, uh, this, this is it, because I don't think there's really anything else to do in, in the demo, really. I mean, I will go back and check, but I doubt there is, but next time I see you guys, I'll be in the actual game. So, bye guys. <laughs>